welcome back and if you're new here thanks for checking out the uh, video um, this is a very quick update and documentary on my uh, uh, situation as to controlling the furry friends aka rats with my chickens now it's not really a topic that I'm you know my channels about but I thought I would document my struggle or battle if you would will against um, the furry friends and um, you know I've covered the topic before but I think this year I might just document the actual battle and struggle that uh, does ensue in the uh, fact of keeping chickens and what you have to do because ultimately it's a subject as a small chicken keeper um, a lot of people will skip over and just put it down as a annoyance but um, it's something you have to keep on top of and I think I'll take you along on this journey now that's my uh, first real dig site that I've noticed inside their run um, chickens being chickens are messy eaters as you can see so you know uh, the battle is on now this year we've had storms wet windy conditions even though it's not frosty they've decided they're looking for an easier home and uh, my chicken pen is obviously one of the first places they're going to look to now I did deploy that inside the run just by that dig site but um, the trap door was sprung and nothing was in it um, so that was a fail on that one I'm going to check the bait box I'll bring you around I've just put a ladder here while I've got the actual spring trap down to um, stop the actual new dog getting in on top the trap that I've got set down here and that is here now you could see I've just got one and um, obviously it's getting in a little hole in the actual um, fence there now I don't know what's caused that um, it looks like it's been pulled so I'm not quite sure how because it it's not like that normally so I've got to address that situation but it's too late in the day to do that at the moment but that's a piece of sweet potato in that trap and I've got one like I said, I've had to put a ladder there to stop the dog getting down because I don't want it to get its snout caught. But I'm about to go over here and check the bait box. So I've just checked inside the bait box and there's no bait left. So I'm well and truly into that time of year now. I am in full battle against the furry friends. So um, yeah, I'm going to have to get some new bait put in there. I don't have any with me on my home address at the minute. So it's going to have to be purchased tomorrow. So yes, uh, it is that time of year. I've been nervously awaiting it, but it's here. I do have storms and bad weather like I said that's probably driving them in so that's of no use but um, I will be deploying this trap here again I've disposed of the one we caught but yeah sweet potato out of interest does seem to be a bit of a firm favorite for them right so looking at this one it's not a very old one um, you know it's uh i would say no more than a few months old so you know it's uh definitely of breeding age so i do know now that i do have to be on top of this problem and obviously I, what i'm going to do is i'm going to take you guys along and see how over the course of the winter i deal with this situation and how often i have to deal with it and how i get on top of it but uh, yeah, I got the spring trap. It's been successful on this one. I've got this one. On the bigger ones, sometimes they can wriggle away and escape with those traps, even though they get a fair whack. But a rat of this size, you know, it's curtains, game over. Right, I've disposed of that individual and um, I've conducted a little look around uh, the back hedge, which backs onto open fields. And um, I've discovered a little hole. They are here now, so I am, like I keep saying, in full mode to get rid of them and control them. 
yeah so I checked all the way around my um, chicken area there is no other evidence that is one area they usually come from but it looks like they've been making their way into the run coming over the back and coming up there what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for the girls to go to bed I'm going to reset this humane trap right there again and hopefully I'll be able to get uh, get a handle on uh, what's actually happening here if I catch one and I'll be able to examine and see what particular size that is like I said the bait box no use there's no uh, nothing in it at the moment I'm gonna have to go and sort something out but all I know by that is it's gone the actual bait is gone the poison so um, yeah they're here I have in the past had a dig site there but nothing there yet so far and I've noticed a little hole here what I will do with that is keep an eye on that and there may be an opportunity to have a, a pop at anything that comes out of there with the air rifle I'm not sure I do have a good backstop it is a hedge and it backs out onto open fields but I do have and it's this is low in the hedge so you know if if I get the opportunity I will have a pop at uh, one with the air rifle going along here sometimes I've noticed a dig in the corner there. there's nothing there and that takes you back to where um, we've just been and got that other one so I'm assuming they're all coming in from over on that trap it's reset it's reset it's raining now not the best time it's reset so let's uh, see what happens tomorrow but like I said I'm going to reset the humane trap on the far door over there and we'll have a little look I can't see no dig sites in there though at the moment so they are actually coming up from that other end and let's make our way back out But this weather is pushing them back in here. Well, I'm taking shelter in the actual uh, woodshed or just under it as much as I can because the woodshed's full. But um, yeah, um, this weather has actually brought them in now from the fields. So, you know, it's your duty to get on top of it and eradicate them. But I'm going to bring you along this year and we will see how this pans out. So, I've had a few, you know, rogue ones, shall I say, that have made their way in just recently. You know, chancers, just chancing their luck for somewhere to actually, um, you know, get a free feed and somewhere nice to live. But uh, I'm on top of it now. They are here now, so let's get them gone. Yeah, so this is Andy and I'm going to call it a day and just wait for it to get a bit darker to set that trap and um, yeah, we'll see what the next instalment of this, uh, you know, Operation Catcher Rats uh, actually uh, brings to us. Right, cheers.